Meghan Markle and Prince Harry on stage after he delivered a speech at the SSE Arena in Wembley The Duchess of Sussex made a surprise appearance at an event celebrating young people today. Pregnant Meghan, 37, joined Prince Harry, 34, on stage after he delivered an empowering speech to thousands of screaming youngsters at the SSE Arena in Wembley, London. After calling on young people to engage in social and environmental causes, Prince Harry said, I'm now going to try and drag my wife on stage, prompting deafening cheers from the audience. He walked over to the side of the stage and led Meghan by the hand into the spotlight, where they hugged and stood with their arms around each other as Harry told the crowd, I am with you, and we are with you. Mother-to-be Meghan, who is due in the coming weeks, gazed lovingly at her husband during the brief appearance before they walked off stage hand in hand. She was polished in a navy Smythe blazer, black skinny jeans and a black top for the occasion. The star-studded event, attended by celebrities including Naomi Campbell and Nicole Scherzinger, was held to mark We Day UK, part of a global initiative to encourage young people to take part in positive social change. The Duke of Sussex was announced as a speaker at the event today but his wife was not expected to attend. During the speech, Prince Harry praised young people for fighting the good fight and encouraged them to remain engaged and interested in causes that matter. He said, to be amongst all of you progressive, motivated, open-minded, change-makers, is what gives me hope for the future. At one point, when an Overcome fan shouted I love you, Harry, he responded, I love you too. He also referenced Meghan saying, as my wife often reminds me with one of her favorite quotes by Martin Luther King Jr. Darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. The mere mention of her name sent the crowd into a frenzy. The screams reached fever pitch when Harry paused before the last few lines of his address to reveal he would try and drag his wife on stage. The Duchess looked perfectly polished for the occasion. Pairing a navy Smythe blazer with a black top, black skinny jeans and a pair of black suede pumps. She finished the look with delicate pupa small jewelry. Beaming at supporters, Meghan put an arm around her husband and leaned into his chest as they stood side by side on stage. Keen for Harry to take his moment in the spotlight, supportive Meghan stood back and gestured to her husband to encourage more applause. The Duchess is just weeks away from welcoming her first child but has maintained a busy schedule of royal engagements, including a whirlwind royal tour of Morocco late last month. Yesterday she joined Prince Harry, the Queen, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and other senior royals at a Buckingham Palace event commemorative the 50th anniversary of Charles' investiture as the Prince of Wales. We Day is an unparalleled celebration of young people committed to making a difference. It's where young people from across the UK prove that when they harness their belief, their passion and their energy in making a lasting impact, they are an unstoppable force for good. It's an extraordinary community of change makers that are raising the bar and setting a new standard for what it means to create positive, lasting change on both the local and global levels. Prince Harry's empowering speech in full Hello We Day. It's a great privilege to be back in this exciting, buzzing space, this time as president of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, a platform we created for you where your ideas and creativity will be taken seriously because it's you that are making the most impact in your communities. I am proud to stand before you and see you just as enthusiastic as I remembered. With all of that activism, some might think you'd be exhausted but look at you, and listen to you, you know the secret. That in giving back, in fighting the good fight, it doesn't exhaust you, it energizes you. To be amongst all of you progressive, motivated, open-minded, change-makers, is what gives me hope for the future. Your optimism is inspiring you see opportunities where other people see challenges, you seek solutions when others just focus on problems. You are the most engaged generation in history. You care about values, doing the right thing, and championing the causes that will shape your future. You don't judge someone based on how they look, where they're from, or how they identify. In this room, 
you see the world for what it is vibrant, colorful, mixed and full of promise. That is who you are, and that is what makes me feel proud to stand in your presence as you tackle the world's greatest issues. And you guys know as well as I do, we've still got so much to do. As far as I see it, there are two absolutely crucial issues that we need to focus on, and my hope is that a 1,000 more issues will be cured in the process. First, let's take our mental health, which you've embraced wholeheartedly, breaking the generational stigma and helping to normalize the conversation. After all, mental illness is about recovery, mental health is about consciousness, mental fitness is about well-being. To be happy is to be mindful, mindful of your feelings, mindful of your surroundings, and mindful of the 7.7 .7 billion other humans that inhabit this planet. And while we are on the topic of health, let's talk about the health of our planet too. Climate change is a humanitarian issue not a political one, and one where we've been far too slow in waking up to the issues and acting on the damaging impact our ways of living are having on the world. We now have the facts, the science, the technology and the ability to save not just our planet, but ourselves. I know you don't sit back and wait for solutions, you take action and create them. Our world's greatest assets are threatened every day and it is so important that we support local communities to safeguard every element of this incredible world. Every forest, every river, every ocean, every coastline, every insect, every wild animal, every blade of grass, every ray of sun and every raindrop is crucial to our survival. It is all connected, we are all interconnected. You in this room understand that and are already making this a safer, healthier and more resilient home for all of us and for generations to come. And for that I applaud you. If we look at the world we are living in, I know it can feel challenging sometimes, but your role is to shine the light. Every day you are inundated with an overexposure of advertising and mainstream media, social media and endless comparisons, distorting the truth, and trying to manipulate the power of positive thinking. But you don't let them sway you. Because you don't need to hide behind your device to share your voice. You confidently voice your opinions because you can embrace them proudly. As my wife often reminds me with one of her favorite quotes by Martin Luther King Jr. Darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. You aren't always going to agree, you may find yourselves frustrated with the older generation when it seems like they don't care. But try to remove that judgment. Try to remember that not everyone sees the world the way you do but that doesn't mean they don't care. It means you have the incredible opportunity to help reshape mindsets, to empower those around you to think outside the box, and to work with you, not against you, to find solutions. You know that if you don't stand for something you'll fall for anything. So let that be your true north, let that be your call to action to inspire those who stand for nothing, to stand for something and to stand with you. So what's next? What's on your to-do list starting now? Be braver, be stronger, be kind to each other, be kind to yourselves, have less screen time, and more face-to-face -face time, exceed expectations, eliminate plastics, conserve water, protect wildlife and their unique habitat, keep empathy alive, ask your friends how they are doing and listen to the answer, be honest, take risks, change your thoughts and change the world. Dare to be the greatest generation of all time. I am with you. We are with you. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.